Hey y'all, out doing a little planking. Me and the RWS Model 48 Diana in 22. Had to adjust a little bit. The scope seems to be right there. And where am I? Well, hold on, I'll bring the camera around. I'll get in frame. Is that me? That's me. Hold on. Yeah, I'm still not editing anything. Anyways, hey, old Uncle Keith. Out doing a little planking with the RWS. This old Diana, not old, but this new Diana. This Diana is doing a really good job. In fact, I think I'm going to name it that. So, Diana, you got a rifle named after you. Anyways, uh, wanted to talk with y'all for a little bit. Past couple weeks' events. This is uh, the end of June. I think today is the 26th of June. We've had quite a bit going on in the world. Um, we had a shooting in Orlando, and I know everyone's sick and tired of hearing that. We had Great Britain got its independence from the EU. That's a good thing. We had elections going on coming up, and everyone's fussing about the Second Amendment and about weapons and things like that. Well, best way I can put it from my point of view is like this. In Great Britain, they took away everyone's handguns. Scotland became a very disarmed area. And now, I think it's uh, Edinburgh. I believe it's Edinburgh. It might be Glasgow, but I believe it's Edinburgh was, was last I heard the most violent city in the uh, in the in Europe. You know, I could be wrong. If any of you from Scotland may point me up on that one, but I do know that uh, recently I've seen stuff. Now they wanted you to give up your handguns and your firearms. So now, since everyone's using knives, they want you to give up your damn knives. All that's going to do is create even more victims. It's the same thing over here when, when liberals are trying to get us to disarm. Why? Why do they want us to why do they want us to disarm? Okay? It obviously isn't to keep us safe because the more we disarm, the more acts of large mass murder happen. Wounded knee. When that happened, they were disarming. They disarmed those Native Americans before they massacred every single one of them. Okay? In World War I, when, uh, when the Turks massacred the Armenians, they were disarmed. They couldn't fight back. Let's fast forward a little bit to the 1930s and 40s. Okay? The Jews, the Slavs, the, uh, the Gypsies, the Roma, all disarmed. Okay? When our founding fathers set up the Second Amendment of the Constitution, along with all the rest of the amendments to the Constitution, they were put, put in there to guarantee our safety, to guarantee our rights, not to rely on a government. When you rely on a government, you, rely, you wind up relying on a tyrant, because nothing is going to stop that government from becoming a tyrant. So any candidate that's running that is, has decided to declare the NRA to be their enemy and declared that anyone who owns a firearm is obviously a thug and a, and a numbnutted moron, is an enemy of you, is an enemy of the country. Because they are trying to make more people into victims. Now let's take a look at Orlando, when that happened. And it was a terrible thing. But you know what, if there were armed citizens in that bar, a lot less people would have died. And that son of a bitch would have died a lot faster. You notice when these things happen, they don't go to, uh, to rodeos and do this. They don't go to redneck bars, country music bars, and do this. They don't go to small town America next to where everyone hunts and do this. They go to areas where they know people are victims. They go to schools that they know no one's carrying a firearm. Movie theaters where they know no one's carrying a firearm. Because they're fucking cowards. Pardon my language, but it's the truth. Whether they be Muslim extremists or numb-nutted morons or bent on killing people. 
or even our own government. Think about that. Okay, think about Waco, Texas. The people that died there. That wasn't mass murders doing that. That was our government that did that. Our government. Now, I'm not going to get involved in the politics or religious or whatever. It boils down to a group of people who honestly did not do anything to anybody but sit there and want to be left alone and live their lives. Okay? If they're breaking laws with, with children and stuff, fine. Find the guy when he's in town and arrest him. Okay? You don't have a full-on onslaught to a community. There's another thing that's going on that uh, I've noticed. It is starting to become illegal to try and live off the land. To try and live off the grid. Through the country, small government uh, agencies and entities are going after people in court. Are raiding their, their home sites for living off the grid because they are not paying you their money. So, before you all go to the the polls. Really think about how this country is turning out. I mean, the whole idea behind the liberals was when it first started, it was a good thing. Everyone should be treated fairly. Everyone should be treated equally. Everyone should have a fair share, fair say, fair everything. But they've taken it to the extreme to where it is no longer a fair viewpoint. It is a fascist viewpoint. The last time I checked, I thought we whooped the fascists back in 1945. What the hell is that idea even doing in the United States? Where a large government can force you to do what they think is good for you. What happened to the Constitution? The right of free speech. Okay? The right to assemble. The right to go to a church. And the right to bear arms. If they take the right to bear arms, they will take those other rights as well. So, think about that before you go to the polls. Ponder on that. Okay? Anyways, once again, this is old Uncle Keith. School of Woodlore and Common Sense. I'm going to quit using the School of Woodlore and Common Sense because it's not on the, the site or anything. Though it should be. It was meant to be. But anyways, this is old Uncle Keith. Keith Stamball. And um, that's my viewpoint on this Shade Tree Chat. Y'all take care. Love your families. Watch top notch, keep your powder dry, or in this case, keep your keep oil out of your rifle. <laughs> Alright, take care y'all. Bye-bye.